Hello, so this is a summary or an overview on Math Resource Studio 5. You can find this resource right off the web for either downloadable or a uh, purchased version. All you need to do is go into Google and search Math Resource Studio and it will be the first website that pops up for you within that search. Um, this website or this resource is very useful for us mathematics teachers. Um, as you know, becoming a new teacher, there's going to be much time spent on you developing how you teach your course. And for math, a lot of it is handouts so you can do your assessments. This resource allows you to make handouts very efficiently and actually very quickly, and it's really easy to use. So I will start just by clicking on New. New automatically pops up a new document for you to be able to manipulate. Now, as you can see over here in this left toolbar, there is many different mathematical concepts that we can investigate. So if I look in advanced number operations, within advanced number operations, there's also many different concepts within that topic. So you could do addition, you could do division, you could do multiplication, you could do subtraction. All, it all depends on what the topic is that you are teaching your students. So I'm just going to pull up any one. Let's say we go to algebra. And I'm going to do uh, equations with single variables. Now, as soon as I have clicked on that, it has automatically popped up 10 problems for you involving single variable equations. Um, that's how simple and that's how easy it is. Just by clicking, it automatically gives you what may take you 10 to 20 minutes to create without this help. So there, there you have what could be your worksheet. Now, over on the right in this toolbar, it gives you many options in how you want to easily change the, uh, the handout that you are creating. So to stop, there's exercise set options, there's display options, instructions, numbering display, and also an answer, ba answer bank. So in, if we go into the exercise set options, the first thing is the instructions text. You can change it to solve for the variable. You can put in whatever instructions text you would like your students to create. Also, below that, you see number of exercises. So if I click on that, simply by changing the number 20 and clicking off of it, it has automatically generated 20 problems for me. So just in the matter of about 30 seconds, I've gone from 10 problems to 20 problems like that without actually having to develop them, create them in a, in a Word document, and it set it up for me very nicely. Now, it also gives you a line on the side here for where your students can put the answers. Now, if you would like them to show your work, you could put that into the instructions text right here. It says solve for the variable, and let's say we want them to show your work. So we click OK, and that has popped up in there as well. Now, as you see, there's not very much spacing in there. But again, that is an option for us. So we can change the row spacing very easily just by clicking up. And it has now given your students enough space between each of the problems to be able to show their work underneath. Not very many steps required, so that should be enough room for them. There's many different options that you can have over here on the right to change your handout very simply. That is why I find this resource very useful. You can add decimals. You can add decimals to the solution. You can add or take away the answer lines, whichever you want. It actually also gives you an option to show an answer bank. So if I scroll down now, for you, you could click this out, show answer bank, print this out, and this is your copy. So now you know what the answer bank for each of the questions is. Very simple, very easy, very fast. Um, so basically, I find this resource could help a lot of new up-and-coming teachers who don't have that bank from teaching the course before. It allows you to create a handout very quickly and make changes to it very quickly without having to fumble around on Word, find out how you're going to implement those lines, use different equations, things like that. For some of us as well, we don't really have the ability to create those problems very fast. This could take us over an hour or so to do. 
whereas in a matter of about five minutes I have created a handout that I could easily give to students to be able to solve equations with a single variable.